everybody, thanks for watching. I just finished filming this tutorial on this, so if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Um, see you soon. Start off with putting some Maybelline Master Prime on my face. This is, has some redness control. I am a little red. I was out in the sun. Then after that, I'm going to go on with my Benefit Professional Primer. You don't have to use two primers, but I feel like it's a little redundant, but I don't know. I just... Then after that, I'm going to prime my eyes as well. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm just going to apply that on my lid and underneath on my lower lash line because we will be applying shadow there as well. Alright, then I'm going to be going in with some ColourPop eyeshadows, and I'm going to be using mainly the colors from the Where the Light Is um, Quad by Kathleen Lights. So first I'm going to be starting off with the shade Cornelius. It looks just like this, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and just focus this mainly in the crease. Then for a little more definition, because I do want this look to be a little more smoky and to pop, I'm going to be taking the shade Bill. This is not in the quad, but it looks like this. It's kind of like a taupey brown, kind of a purpley pink, but not really. Then we're going to go in with the shade Blaze, which is in the Kathleen Lights quad, and it looks just like this. It's very shimmery brown. Looks just like this. It's a very shimmery brown, and I'm going to be taking my finger because it's really, it's just going to look better. Now sometimes I like this just because it's really subtle and then sometimes I want a little bit of an extra pop. Um, Colourpop has this color, it's called Millionaire and it's literally like the same exact color only it's like pure glitter. And it is like So I'm just going to I feel like it just has more definition. Okay, then after that, I'm going to go back in with Cornelius to blend out any harsh lines that I might have applied with my finger. Only this time I'm going to be taking the shader, the base shadow brush by Real Techniques. And really kind of just patting it on there because I just want to get that one piece of And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Bill and just really add my depth. Then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Beige. And really a little bit of this goes a long way. So I'm going to do one and a half pumps. And then on my... Sigma F82 Kabuki brush. I'm really going to push the product into the brush. Ooh, I like to build up my foundation because sometimes you can have foundations that can get cakey. And if you put a bunch on right at once, it is like impossible to blend out foundation after it's on your face or take it off, I guess. The purpose of this foundation is to make your skin look natural and really you can see my freckles through it like you can see anything but I also like it because it is medium coverage so it will cover up your redness or your blemishes or whatever it is that you may not want people to see but it does still like I can still see my freckles and 
my beauty mark for whatever I have, I can still see it and I really like that. Um, then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade Light Medium and just, cool, good job Carrie. And I'm going to conceal and I'm going to blend that with a damp beauty blender. Alright, now that that's all concealed and looking good, I'm going to go in with a slightly lighter concealer by Urban Decay, and I'm just going to dot it on my face because it is lighter than my skin, and I don't want to use too much of it, otherwise I can look washed out, and yada yada. Plus, I don't want to waste it because it is spendy. Anyways, I'm going to be going in with just... A regular powder brush and MAC Pro Emphasize. And I'm going to be setting my under eye concealer. You always want to dab first, then rub. Or if you want to rub. Because if you just rub right away, you can move the product in places that you don't want. And it'll settle and it'll crease and you don't want that. I just look like I got punched in the eye. So I'm going to take Max Mulch Eyeshadow. It's a kind of a shimmery brown ish. Like, I don't know what kind of color. Brownish oranges color. Kind of like the colors I've been using on my eyes and just have a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to be taking that on my Sigma 340. Dabbing it. Alright, then with my Morphe S25, I am going to be taking my Eyebrow Kit in the shade Light. I'm going to be taking the brown waxy color on the left smudging it in there and applying it with some with my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Sets in the shade Bold Brunette. One layer of Maybelline Ice Studio Gel Liner. I've used it so much already that the number is coming off. Mm -mm. I'm going to be using Bad Bad Girl Bronzer. Alright, then with the stippling brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to be taking some Mary Kay. Blush in the color Bold Berry with it. Dabbing it on there. Still goes a long way, people. And just lightly applying that on two colors of Lippy Stick from ColourPop. I'm going to be going in with Cookie first. with Westy in the middle hub. Just 
for a little bit of a peek. I'm going to be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Frost. This is called Champagne Pop by Jacqueline Hill. You can use these ones you and I'm going to be going in with this powder brush, dabbing it. Ready? Ready? That. And then we're going to go in with a little bit more. We're not done yet. You just wait. Then I just went ahead and sprayed my face with some MAC Fix Plus Air Cucumber Scented One. It is limited edition. I leave all of them sold out, which makes me very sad. And then I went in with my Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. So this is the finished look. 